mention this during the reaction. It bears repeating here because I like I, they finally revealed the answer. Why people are sounding like each other. Why they're saying dialogue word for word. There really is a soul metaphor here. You know, shadows, souls, you know, there's a definite metaphor. So, you know, because your shadow, it's a fairy tale thing. Yeah, once upon a time did this where um, there's a character who cut his shadow off so that he couldn't be uh, possessed or attacked. And that, that was an interesting little wrinkle that they did there. He still had his faculties, though. He's, you know, functionally, I mean, that's not the way light works. Light's going to hit you, and then beyond you, there's not going to be, you know, there's not there's going to be a shadow, right? Like, there's going to be a void where light can't pass through you. But we're not really talking about the physics of it all. We're talking about the metaphor of it. Here's the thing. If you think about it, they said they die if they get exposed to the sun. So maybe that's the physics of it, if you think about it. Physically, when light hits you and it can't pass through you, there's going to be a shadow, but you're not allowed to have a shadow because your shadow's been taken, so you get destroyed. Your your entire being and body gets vaporized so that sun can continue to hit the ground where you were blocking it. So, hey, we solved the physics problem. But metaphorically, like, it takes your personality and your traits and your skills. Now, has it duplicated those things? Can Zoro still, if he's to be freed from the casket, can he still use these powers? Or is it one per customer? If the zombie's using it, Zoro can't use it. That's bad. If that's true, that's bad. And they've lost two of the high-powered characters. And that's another way you can, you know, when you have five badass, basically five nuclear weapons... You need to take some off the board so that the other side has a chance. That's what they've done. It's all very clever writing. All I'm saying is I really like that we're getting that answer. So, that being said, let's go and get into it. This is episode 347. You know where we are. You know where we're going. Three, two, one. The game is afoot, by the way, just in case you didn't know that. Uh, look at that look on Chopper's face. <laughs> so who does, whose shadow is inside her? Somebody she knew. Her mom? Her dad, maybe? We never, oh, did we know anything about her dad? Somebody who knows her shadow is inside this dog penguin. Dog going. I will beat table manners, anybody. <laughs> Who? That's the downside, I guess, of uh, taking people's shadows and putting them in zombies. Some of the residual personality remains, which could betray you, which it did here. I like how in Shadow, he doesn't look much like Zoro when we see him in the light, right? But in Shadow, they made it look like, just like him for a reason. Make sure we draw that connection. <laughs> what was this abuse for? Why are you sauntering? It's creepy. <laughs> see, that doesn't look much like Zoro. Especially the thing on the head. We didn't see the in shadow we didn't see that thing on the head, did we? It was just all, it was supposed to look exactly like Zoro. Because it was a shadow, you know. <laughs> I'll let you have it. Why well, can't you use his power? Like, I guess even Balloon isn't, gonna, isn't enough to, like, break free of the shackles, right? I guess. That makes sense. <laughs> this, uh... Snake is a damn problem. Snake. The hell? Spider. Spider monkey. Spider monkey? Really? We're doing spider monkey. Wow, I just realized the pun. Dude, you suck. <laughs> that is awful. Of course, they make him extra creepy even without the whole pun, right? 
He's creepy with the pun, but it's even, you know, even without him. Time to jump. That's the only solution. Because you're the last two left. Assuming the other the three haven't been overwhelmed, right? I heard Nami. Nami's got 99 problems, man. Because... We ain't even, she ain't even encountered Lola yet, and that's not good. That's right. Give him this work. Ha <laughs> ha, shit. Man, this dude could fight. <laughs> He's a rookie because he just got here. Is Oh, is this Sanji? Sanji's, they called him rookie. That means he just got here. It's Sanji's, uh, uh, Shadow. Gotcha. That's Sanji's uh, shadow inside there. Yep. That's what it is. <laughs> she recognized him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Dog going. Hey man, I was like, I'm glad, I'm glad I was able to anticipate the name. Yeah, yeah I'll kick your ass too. <laughs> I'll spank your ass red. He's he's of two minds. I guess for once it's a good thing that he's a sup, right? Hey, oh shit! I I thought that was our friends. No, it's not our friends. She's here to kick ass. And Sanji won't be able to attack a woman, so Nami's going to take care of this herself. <laughs> no. <laughs> Your master's going to have to come down here and take care of this. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, you two sound like you have some shit to work out, so why don't you go handle that? That's right, you better cry. Burning love? You don't get that without a venereal. Yeah, we won't go there. <laughs> you have to open your mouth to talk. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to argue the finer details of her, what she says. You can't understand when you're being gaslit, huh? <laughs> uh, hopefully they're fighting. They could be doing something else back there. <laughs> it's definitely coded that way. <laughs> you're being pig-headed. That's the second pun in the last ten minutes. <laughs> I didn't it, I didn't pick up on the fact she was trying to kiss him on the lips. I thought she was intentionally missing him. No, he's just dodging or kissing. Okay. I wasn't clocking that until they showed the, the shot where you could actually pick up on it. This is not good. <laughs> I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, that comes later. The stealing comes later. <laughs> oh, so he will fight the Lola to protect his girl. What are you going to do about it? Yep, he, oh, he sees it's a woman, so he won't do it now. <laughs> right in the face. I don't think his intentions matter anymore because he just got his entire body shattered. Exactly. So he can't be get in the middle of it. <laughs> You're willing to consider this beast a woman. Brilliant. <laughs> That's one of the better jokes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this show's funny. 
So something secret can grab them. Okay. Okay. This is how they're being snatched when they don't see anybody. I forgot about the Invisible Man in the bathroom, of course. It's probably the Warlord. No. Just this feels too petty for a Warlord. The Warlord feels like he's got bigger things on his mind, right? So it's not the Warlord. Kill this son bitch. But this is how people are getting snatched. Oh no, okay, so he can just turn okay, so he can turn invisible. Gotcha. Boy, that's a power, man. Be able to turn invisible? That makes you ten times as dangerous. <laughs> that's right, staff his ass. <laughs> I've been babying my skin every day for a perverted beast. Hilarious. You just got thunderized. Bitch. <laughs> Even in the face of death, the fact that Usopp could make that joke about you could consider this beast a woman. <laughs> Top five Usopp joke ever. Dude, take what you can get. They love their whole small fry versus your know, large fry comparisons. <laughs> Why are my eyes rolling in the back of my head? <laughs> yes, the the sweet, sweet release of death. Oh no, love. Never mind. Oh boy, so much chaos. Okay, horse boy. They've been just sitting there watching the show, man, just like us. Yeah, he is wrecked. <laughs> yeah. Hey, somebody tell me, is that the same voice as the guy who voices Sanji? I'm just curious. I can't tell the difference. Terrible hearing. It would be interesting if it was. Same with the Zoro guy. I wonder if that is. <laughs> Yeah, we do what we want. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. He's just, uh, he's middle management. Keep your leopard, or what do you think he is? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> he's about to pull rank. Yeah, you better pay attention. Yeah, it's about my ego, bitch. What's up? I'm with him. They love their little walking sound effects, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's... He's not going to be around for very long. He's going to get destroyed. We're about to find out what this dude can do. Besides being invisible. <laughs> Demonstrate your power. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wrecked. Some kind of force push. Yeah. The little baby got mad. <laughs> That's he's all about the posing, man. In the soda. Which is half of what I like. <laughs> Still got his garlic. Maybe he takes some of that shit off, he could run faster. It really does. She's she's too much drama. <laughs> Let's split up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're chasing you. They're not chasing us. <laughs> He 
can't run with a big knot in his head, and you can't run while you're being domestically violent. So stop it. <laughs> she can run faster than you. You're done. <laughs> Chopper's scared eyes are always hilarious. Yep. <laughs> Farewell, sweet prince. <laughs> East Blue? Man, pff, screw the East Blue. She don't care about you, man. We split up for, for good, so. You split up, that's why. Kind of crazy, but it worked. <laughs> I suppose she matters. Meanwhile, she can run faster anyway. How do you propose to do that, by the way? She apparently can hold swords in her hooves, which I don't think is anatomically possible. Then again, she could have zombie adjustments to her her hooves, right? Hit her with the the lightning. Yeah, <laughs> she really is one nasty. <laughs> God, he is killing me. Usopp needs to calm down, man. He has been killing me this episode. <laughs> it's like, my God, you are one nasty. <laughs> He needs to slow down, man. Well, shit. Yep, I mean, that seems to be the likely conclusion, right? We know it, but... Kick him in his monkey face. Yeah, you already said that. It's deja vu all over again. Oh, well, last time you said armored zombies, I think. <laughs> no, he's not the big bad. Oh, right, okay. I know what he's saying. I thought he meant figuratively. The, the webmaster that's orchestrating everything. So that's the spider we saw before that seems so much smaller. He does have big ears. It's time to rip him off. <laughs> yeah. Don't troll us. Well, today's a good day to die. Between a rock and a hard place. Well, one of you we know can think. I don't know about both of you. Yeah. That's right. Time to pose. <laughs> He's all about the guns. <laughs> He's going to set you on fire. <laughs> Handle it. What did the British say? Sorted. <laughs> That's right. Now what? Let's all go together. She is. He is violent. Do we have a plan for when we hit the ground? Other than being smeared like a fine paste? He had no plan. Okay. She does. She has a plan. You know, sometimes that shit's gross, man. It's a bunch of hands, but, you know, it's just a little weird. <laughs> Hand wings. <laughs> did she know this or did she just figure this out? It is long enough. 
Nice. Look at her. She's straining him, man. Yeah. Eh, good enough. Smack against the wall. That's your sting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, she made it. <laughs> Sorry about your face. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, that was a very elegant solution. Look at that squash spider. I told you he was going to get squashed. I didn't know he was that big, though. He looks small, man. Nice. Yeah, he definitely stunned him for a minute. Get your ass up here, dude. <laughs> hey, man. Why should both of us get smashed? Yeah, she, she completely disregarded what he's talking about. <laughs> Come on, let's keep moving. Oh, shit. He's mad. We need to keep going. Yeah, they can take a hit. <laughs> Big mad. Come and get it. I'm still confident we can take your ass out. <laughs> what? Oh, shit. Somebody's coming. Get your ass up there, man. Just hanging on the ledge ain't the move. Let's go. Oh, that's old boy. Get up off the ledge, dumbass. That's our guy, man. I like him. What's up? I've forgotten his name. We'll just call him, uh... <laughs> we'll call him Bone Guy. <laughs> now that's a show-stopping number. 